It's time for a look at the stories that have made the CNSNews.com best of the week. Come on, you knew it would happen. Going to delay the mandate that individuals have to buy government approved health care or pay a tax? No, sir. Um, are you going to delay the open enrollment beyond March 31st? No, sir. So guess what? This week, the law changed again. All consumers who have begun to apply will now have about until mid-April to ask for an extension. Yet another delay of Obamacare. Another deadline made meaningless. And now this, more of the same. Unfortunately, it is the continuation of lawlessness from the administration. That's a reaction among some representatives. Other lawmakers, well, they're not so concerned. Obamacare, if you do a poll of anyone, that's dropped way down in significance. One significant place that Obamacare was being discussed this week was inside the United States Supreme Court. Their arguments focused on whether the contraceptive mandate in the Affordable Care Act violates the free exercise of religion. Now, we'll have to wait to hear a ruling from the justices, but we don't have to wait to hear the logic of those that were outside rallying in support of Obamacare. Businesses don't have First Amendment rights when it comes to their religion. Wait, but they, they have them on everything else? Well, businesses do not have First Amendment rights. They are not people. Okay. I run a business and okay. it's incorporated and it's a small a, business. If you want to put up a sign in your, um, in your store's window supporting Planned Parenthood, for mm -hmm. instance, then the government could come and say, you can't do that. Why would the government do that? Well, I don't know. but they. I have the right to free speech. No, no, no. You don't, though, if you're a corporated business. But I'm not acting as a... I'm an individual. So in my business context, I would act in support of my mission, in support of my business principles. In my individual life, well, I might want to put exactly a sign. What, that's exactly what Hobby Lobby is saying they're doing. They're acting in support no, of in their my individual business principles. Possibly due to the great success that Democrats feel they have achieved with the Obamacare implementation, now they move the government into daycare. That's right, President Obama, he's been pushing his preschool for all initiative. And Senator Chris Murphy says some people find that child care is unobtainable without government support. In parts of the state, um, it is simply unobtainable for families without significant uh, discount for public support. By the way, Murphy represents the state of Connecticut. That's the fourth wealthiest state in the nation according to the U.S. Census Bureau. Now, not so rich is the relationship between the U.S. and Afghanistan, according to former Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld. He's blaming poor diplomacy by the Obama administration for the current strained relations with Afghan President Hamid Karzai. Now, Rumsfeld pointed to the fact that the Obama administration has failed to get Karzai to sign an agreement that would allow some U.S. troops to remain in Afghanistan after 2014. Now, that's something he feels is so simple that... A, a trained ape could get a status of forces agreement. It does not take a genius. Also simple, asking someone to name one United States senator. Well, unless you're at a university campus. You can check out all the stories I mentioned earlier on CNSNews.com. We now leave you this weekend with a look as we ask the question... Can you name one person currently serving in the United States Senate? Of the Senate? Um, uh, this is sad. I'm in a politics course. So uh, oh. <laughs> Not a very good one. Can you name one person currently serving in the United States Senate? Um, God, this is bad. I'm going to take a guess. Please take a guess. I don't even know. Is Nancy Pelosi? No, she's speaking to the house. No, I can't. All right.